disappointments are painful right there are two kinds of disappointments one is temporary another one is permanent my brother my sister my friend in the book of matthew chapter 7 verse 21 jesus says like this not every one which says Lord Lord shall enter into heaven but those who does the will of God you got it not everyone who says Jesus Jesus will enter into heaven but those who does the will of the father which is in heaven my brother my sister my friend stop taking God's word the bible for granted wake up wake up wake up don't be disappointed when you stand before god when you come to know that that you have failed what you are supposed to do you will be shocked you will be totally disappointed and there is no second chance wake up wake up wake up stop just being a namesake christian start living as a christian in the book of isaiah chapter 66 verse 2 god says that i will look unto those who are humble who are broken hearted and who trembles at my word you got it you got it it's not a joke my brother being a true christian needs such a lot of commitment discipline determination yes so that you too won't be disappointed on the last day wake up wake up wake up stop taking bible as granted stop taking your christian life as granted know what you're supposed to know How can you know the will of God without even reading and knowing what the Bible says? You got it? You need to know the Bible. You need to believe the Bible. You need to obey the Bible. You need to honor the Bible. So that you can enter into heaven. God says it. God says it. To whom? To you and I. He says that. So stop playing church. So stop playing Christian. Wake up. Take God's word seriously. Repent and go back to the presence of God. Know what you are supposed to know before too late. This will be a permanent disappointment where you cannot make any changes once dead we cannot make any changes about the judgment which is set you got it only when we are alive and around we can make changes about our eternity my brother my sister my friend Life on earth is for a very short while. You never know when you may have to say a final goodbye to your loved ones. You got it? Always think about that. Always think about that. The life we are living is most uncertain. We never know when it may come to an end. So stop playing with your eternity in heaven stop 
taking it for granted. God makes it very clear, not that everyone who calls me Jesus, Jesus or Lord, Lord will enter into heaven. But only those who does the will of the Father which is in heaven. My brother, my sister, my friend, God loves you. God loves you. That's the reason God is talking to you personally. My brother, my sister, my friend, turn to God. Turn to Bible. Know what it says and believe what it says and do what it says so that you can enter into heaven as a hero. You got it. You too can enter into heaven as a hero. If you believe what the Bible says and if you do what the Bible says. That's the bottom line, my friend. That's the bottom line. Nothing else. Brother, sister, my friend, you may share this video and bless others as well. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God continue to be with you as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't be disappointed. God loves you.